Now, Vishnu Bharatan, senior economist at Mizuho Bank, joins me now for more. Thanks for joining us. Okay. Now, the results came in on the upper end, in fact, more than the upper end of the range. Are you pleasantly surprised? Yes, I have to say, you know, I think generally across the board, the, the street is generally uh, quite pleasantly surprised. But there are some questions about what the outlook is like as well. well can you expand? Sure. I mean, uh, looking at it, of course, the upside surprise came through. Uh, some of that could be due to a low base effect, particularly in manufacturing. Mm. And looking ahead, we do see continued improvement and, and modest recovery, but it's not going to be as strong as the Q on Q seasonally adjusted 6.1% rate suggests. I think we think growth will be above the target, uh, probably closer to 5 than 4%. Uh, that's the good news, but we don't think it's going to be spectacular either. Let's talk about the star performance, uh, financial and insurance sectors. How do you feel about that? I think uh, I mean, these sectors perform well, and it's always difficult to gauge from the ground exactly how they're doing. But going forward, I think the, the risk is that there could be some pressures for two reasons. One is uh, we already know that the MAS has tightened credit standards mm. and lending. So that is going to weigh a bit on bank performance, mm. uh, and, and that will be something we expect. And also, if we do see a slowdown in, in the property market transactions persisting, mm. that could be another area. Where it is offset a bit, which we can see from loans, is that uh, business lending is growing along with the global economic recovery mm. and the expectation of Singapore recovering as well. So that's a bright spark going forward. Absolutely. So we've got a bright, bright spark but we also are uh, measured in uh, how much more upside we see in banking and, and, and insurance all right let's talk about manufacturing is uh, was also a strong performer too but that's cyclical um, to some extent it is uh, what has happened with manufacturing is that you know traditionally it used to be something that contributed strongly to growth uh, but since the initial recovery from the post Lehman crisis manufacturing particularly if you strip out biomed has actually been subtracting from growth for most of it. Mm. And the recovery now is from a very, very low base. Mm. Uh, and going forward, I think uh, you will continue to see some stresses from time to time in electronics, so there should be some recovery. And whatever uptick from here is going to be quite modest uh, rather than you know, uh, very robust. But manufacturing is not going away anytime soon, right? It is a traditional a pillar of the Singapore economy? Uh, absolutely. I mean, one of the things we want to bear in mind is that we can't have an economy that's stripped of manufacturing sector per se. What's happening though is we are restructuring to get higher value added manufacturing in the mix. And in the interim, it will you know, take, uh, take time to get there. All right. Let's talk about the laggards and services sector didn't do so well. To be, but to be fair to the service sector, it's been outperforming uh, since 2010, 2011. So we have been having very strong back-to-back -back growth. And then now coming in into this, this season, I think uh, you have get some of the base effects coming off. And so you get uh, lower hanging fruits. And also uh, you know, coming off. And, and also you have the fact that uh, with uh, credit standards and all tightening, I think there's been a general slight slowdown in the service sector. Okay. Uh, productivity. Now, this time it showed zero growth in 2013, but that's actually an improvement in 2012, which was negative too. Uh, productivity, I think um, it, it is going to improve, but it is actually a medium-term target. I mean, there are multiple problems with this. Firstly, we don't even know how to skin this get. Productivity is a pretty slippery measure. And across the economy, while we are restructuring, we are constructing, we are pulling down, yes. it gets very tricky. Mm -hmm. And how far do you think we are from uh, the government's target of 2 to 3 percent for productivity? Well, I think as a, as a reasonable gauge, we would probably think that you know, three to five years may be as soon as we can reach it on a sustainable basis. Mm -hmm. uh, sure, we might hit that number in a year or two, but to be sustained, we need some of the capacity expansion to come through. Mm. And what do you t make of the government's uh, projection for this year, 2 to 4 percent? I think it's uh, quite prudent. Uh, we personally are looking at growth to come in at about 4.7, 4.8, so closer to 5. Uh, and part of the reason is we think that even though there are uncertainties out there, uh, China's economy will, will be, would have bottomed already and the continued US recovery should see uh, the external uh, demand factors lifting slightly. All right, Vishnu, thanks for the insights. Thanks for joining us. My pleasure. Thank and you. that was Vishnu Vantan from Mizuho Bank on what we can expect for the Singapore economy this year.